Okay, so question six just asks how to grams to moles. Grams to moles. So grams is a unit of mass, which I'll denote as lowercase m, and moles I'll denote as lowercase n. So to solve for number of moles, it would be mass over molar mass. So molar mass is the value that you would just find on your periodic table, also known, known as like atomic weight, and its units are in grams per mole. So if a question gives you a mass in grams, if we know the molar mass of the compound, all we would need to do is divide by the molar mass. You'll notice the grams should cancel out and we are just left with our moles. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. The grams and moles of the sample are related by the molar mass of the sample. In the equation, we have molar mass is equal to mass over moles of sample. Molar mass is the mass of an element slash compound present in one mole of this element slash compound. Molar mass can be found on the periodic table. For compounds, the molar mass is simply the sum of all the molar masses of the elements present in the compound. After identifying the molar mass of the sample, the mass can now be converted to the number of moles using the equation given above via moles of the sample is equal to mass over molar mass. So it is a big factor here to identify first the molar mass of the sample before we can convert it into moles. Yep. So this solution is correct.